Hey friends, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add really cool image effects like the one you see above and the one you see down here on your Squarespace website. It's actually really, really easy. Let's do it right now. Okay, so as you can see, I've made a really basic website here for a nonprofit organization. And as I'm scrolling down, our images are moving and having some really, really neat effects. So let me show you how to add these effects. What you're gonna do is go up to the section, obviously, that you want to work with. We're gonna come over here and click on the edit selection. We're then gonna go to the background option. And within here, if you scroll down a little bit, you're going to see that we have some image effects down here. Now, there are multiple image effects that we can utilize. Uh, basically, I'm using this drop down menu, and what you can see is if I click on the none button and then go back here, as I'm scrolling down, nothing happens. So, this is an image that you're most likely starting out with if you have a basic image banner. And what we're going to do is again go back to the background here, scroll down to the image effects, and let's go back and put this pan version on. Now, when I do that, we can click back on the image and scroll down. As you can see, we now get some movement. Let's look at a couple others that we can work with. I'm gonna scroll back down to image effects and let's do liquid, see what that looks like. Without even moving, this is one of those where the image just alters based off of that specific effect. Again, some of these others are only based off of the movement of your mouse while you're on here. All right, let's see what else we can find. Let's scroll down and try the film grain and see what that looks like. So as you can see, that adds almost a video type effect to these static images. Again, go ahead and play around with this. See if you can find some image effects that really kind of bring your web page to life. I've had a lot of fun with this. Again, it's a little bit limited, but there's enough options to really bring your page to life. I hope that helps friends. If it has, hit that thumbs up button. Let's us know we're making helpful videos. And you may want to subscribe because we actually have a bunch more Squarespace tutorial videos that are coming up really soon. Thanks for watching.